Tommy put up a good fight, but the German people thought our tanks were unstoppable. We had to return to Villa Bocage to show them that they were. Since our escape, the 7th Armored Division has dug in around Villa Bocage. We need to clear the roads for Panzergrenadier support. Destroy all British defensive emplacements along these routes. Once that is accomplished, assault the town and help the Grenadiers lock down these strategic sectors. Let's show Tommy our fatherland's resolve, the tiger's strength. Hop on Frost, sir. Do we have no orders? Keep pushing! The British are regrouped! Schnell! Moving. Good hit, good hit! Move this thing! And faster, full power! Ah, don't move. dig a rubber! Moving. Heavy panzer and heavy panzer rolling in. Ah, Pat don't move! Panzer, move to the gate! Eliminate the position defenses! Open the roads for the Panzer Grenadiers, Schnell! Heavy Panzer ready, we have target. Tommies! We must go!
Sending additional grenadier support. sector has been captured and is secure. We're done. Belt, report for your car secure. It's the fatherlands now. I say again, Villa Bocage is now secure. That was the last time I saw the interior of a Tiger tank. The last time I saw Schultz. He went on to command the 502 Tiger Gruppe. On August 9, 1944, he held the advancing Americans at Autry long enough to allow our division to escape Normandy. He died in his tiger. By September, what was left of our division redeployed to Holland. I assumed command of the Panzerlehr Division as Major General. It had seemed so clear, so necessary. But in the end, senior command had lost its way, and unfortunately the fatherland followed. <laughs>